style portion of this competition. Kim Guanuk will try to change that. The 32-year-old has wrestled in four world championships throughout his tenure. We mentioned the highlight of his career, qualifying for the Rio Olympics in 2016. Real solid, strong in the weight room, athletic body. He lunges in, straight on double. Mostafavi of Iran applying the hips. Looks like he's going to be able to fend off the match's first shot, then try to shuck him by. Able to match the strength of Kim. That's a good sign if you're watching back home in the Islamic Republic of Iran. Kim takes a really comfortable, good, confident double leg, and he is unable to finish it. That has to give the 25-year-old a little bit of confidence in red. Kim Guanuk, I mean, is just a physical hammer. You take a look at his stature, look at his legs, the lower half. They are tree trunks. Very, very powerful for 86 kilos. On the shot clock, crossing over the halfway point in period one. Both wrestlers forehead to forehead. Mostafavi appears content to take the passivity point. He's not going to shoot. And a 1-0 lead for Iran. You know, it's interesting, you look at this weight and all the joy that Yorzdani has brought to Iran throughout his incredible run. One of the most titled athletes in Iranian history in this great sport of wrestling. Here comes Kim again, but for the second time he is denied. Now he's in danger of a step out. Driving forward is Mostavavi and he will be awarded the point. Donnie, a three-time world champion, won the title last year in Oslo, 17 and 19, Olympic champion in the Rio Games. That was at 74 kilos. Brought home the silver this year, his great rivalry with the American David Taylor. Taylor taking gold. There's Donnie settling for the silver. One of the great rivalries that this sport of wrestling has. You talk about Sajulai of Snyder, obviously, but the Taylor Yazdani one is really moving to the forefront. Fifteen seconds to go in this opening period. Even though we haven't had a lot of points, Kim has certainly tried. Tries one more half-hearted shot late. And that's period one, two to nothing for the 25-year-old making his Asian championship debut, Mosin Mostafavi. Good look at the Korean corner. You look at Kim, he's had a tough time placing in both the Continental and World Championships. His near miss was the Worlds in Budapest. A few years back, he lost the bronze medal match. That would have been his first continental or world medal in his long career for Korea. Often on the mat throughout the past 10 years. Took some time away to finish up some studies. Clearly did not miss any time in the weight room. And now that the question becomes connecting some of that strength into the defense that Mostafavi has demonstrated so far. You know, it's interesting you talk to wrestlers and you have some guys who are just absolute beast in the rate room, but sometimes that strength doesn't carry over to success on the mat and vice versa. You have guys that, you know, spend all their time training on the mat and they never really hit that weight room as hard. So it, it, it's a balance that the elite wrestlers are able to find between the two. Second step out point. 3-0 lead. Again, Kim just can't get to his shot. He's in danger of stepping out of bounds. Barrels his way forward. Referee with a late whistle. 
noted that the heels are out of bounds. He's looking for confirmation, and he will get it from the judge. It's a good job by the referee. Wasn't quite there to see it initially, but he thought about it a second or two and then blew the whistle. And clearly both of Kim's feet were in the protection area. It's the right call. Iran, one of the better countries at scouting their opponents. I always find it interesting to, to go into the tunnel after the event and listen to some of the conversations that they have. And usually we have an interrogator nearby that can help relay some of the info. And they are as good as anybody in scouting the opponent. They always mention, yes, we scouted them. We, we knew what they were going to do. Clearly, most of Favi knew that Kim Guan Uk loves that straight on double, that, that power double that he used earlier today. And the Iranian has been ready for it every single time. Mustafavi is going to make Kim come to him. He is certainly not going to go after him and push it. And if you're Kim, if you have a second move, it might be time to try to uncork it. It has been one and done with his shot. You know, maybe follow up change the angle a little bit because what he's doing just isn't working right now with most of Favi. The two cracked heads on that last shot, so they will patch up most of Favi. Hard to imagine a week has come and gone. A lot of the athletes and officials, a lot of our staff here with UWW arrived over the weekend. Many flights coming in on Saturday. It's kind of an every other day departure out of the local airport here in Ulaanbaatar. So many of these athletes and coaches, officials will have a chance tomorrow to just to relax a little bit and enjoy some of the sights and sounds around this beautiful country here in Mongolia. Kind of a little bit of everything with the rugged mountainous range. You have the Gobi Desert off in the distance, a few miles. A lot of history in Ulaanbaatar and we've certainly enjoyed our time. What, Wonderful people here in Mongolia. They have welcomed everybody with open arms. They've been so helpful and hospitable with everybody. We appreciate all that, that they have done, making everyone feel home, even though a lot of people are a long way from home. When you cover these Asian championships in this massive continent, there's a lot of travel involved. New Delhi two years ago, Almaty last year in Kazakhstan, and now here we are in Ulaanbaatar. Final few moments, and this is going to belong to Iran. Four to nothing. Mosim Mostafavi says, yes, indeed, a bronze medal. And the Islamic Republic of Iran will continue to add to their lead now. Ladies and gentlemen, in the bronze medal match, ladies, Mustafa Ali Alanja, Iran.